Okay, so in this video, I am going to put a Spring MVC application to the Google App Engine. So for start, let's start with uh, making a directory. It's not important. I just like to keep organized. Now. Let's get the default project from Google, in the guest book. Uh, there's actually four or five, but I'm just going to get the guest book for the project structure. It's not mandatory, you could just create a Maven project and do this. But since it's already there, so I'm going to use it. Bear in mind, it's going to take a long time if you're doing it for the first time. I have done it a couple of times, so it should not take too much time in here. Let's see. Okay, lots of remote project first, so I'm going to use the Google archetype. Um, the Google dot app engine uh, dot So here I have five project and the guest book is in number three. So let's select that. Let's use the latest version. Uh, group ID um, dot Linus dot my app. You can put any names, it doesn't matter. Artifact any name again. My apps. Let's go with the default values. Yes. Okay, so build success. Uh, now if I want to run it, I'll just have to call Maven App Engine. The server. Now it's going to run this project. Ah, oh shit. I have to go to the link first. My app, yeah. Now, now it's going to run uh, in the local host uh, in your local PC. We'll go to the app engine later. So let's just see if it works. So app engine is running as it says, and uh, we have to go to this link. So let's go to the browser and go to the link. As you can see, the guest book is up and running, which it's pretty simple. Now let's add Spring. So for that, I'm going to use Eclipse. It's not mandatory; you could just do it using a simple text editor. But Eclipse, you know, if you do it in Eclipse, it's much easier. Let's go to the test project, my app. Make sure the palm XML is over here. Hit the pay. And fork. Oh, okay, it's already in the project, so I'll just delete it. Sorry. Again, import. I have a project. Linus has project my app okay. so yeah I have the application now so now first I'm going to add the jar file since I'm using Maven so I don't need to manually add anything I just put the dependencies over here and it should be done Set dependencies. Don't worry about this. Uh, I'll put 
this in the description so that you can easily add it to your project let's okay now let's make our first controller uh, before that we have some files over here let's as you guess generated automatically we don't need that anymore so I'm going to get rid of those as a test file as well okay all gone now let's create a class let's make the name home controller okay spring stuff okay now let's create the page Again, if you were, if you have done programming with the Spring Framework, then you probably already know all this. You can do in your own way; it doesn't matter. HTML stuff, nothing fancy. And hello world. Next, the uh, servlet. So we have to make the servlet. of code standard spring stuff so don't worry about it webinf so I have the JSV file in webinf save it last day change the web XML Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this and add the WebXML file over here. Okay, we don't need this welcome file. Let's just keep it for now. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Anything else? Let me check now nothing so let's stop the server by control C the other screen and run the server again let's see what happens okay it's running let's go to the browser and refresh the page and I'm getting 403 why is that? looks okay okay let's let me just read
rerun it and see what happens. Best mapping, right? Yeah, sorry. Best mapping. Shall we just do? Okay. Now it should work. Taking a long time, I don't understand why. Problem. Yeah, finally. Okay. So let's go to the browsers. Yep. Hello world is printed out. Now have run your spring application with maven build in your local server now to put it in the app engine on the web uh, you have to do one more thing which is go to your app engine web.xml and inside it here in application put your application ID in the Google Cloud so if you create a app over there you definitely get an ID from there not your app name your ID which is uh, normally automatically generated so just put it over there and after that shut down the dev server and run the command MVN app engine comma I think it's update so let me check once again yeah so update so if you run this uh, then it will take you to the browser for some uh, code uh, for your application put it over here and uh, then you will see if you go to the uh, browser then you can browse it from here so the application URL should be your uh, app URL like maybe app your app name ID ID dot app spot dot com so you should be able to view it over there uh, it's going to take a long time to connect and everything, so I'm skipping that part. But if you have any problem with that, uh, put a comment below and I'll try to help you. So yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it and it's helpful. So, peace.